Hey Grand Travelers! In our last video, I showed you a synopsis of our recent time spent in Lake George, New York. We did a three-day getaway for Robert's birthday. He loved every bit of it, especially as his twin brother Ron and his wife Nikki were able to join in on the fun. In this video, I want to highlight our first day of activities and share our thoughts and opinions along the way. Our first day in Lake George was spent at Oktoberfest and on Lake George itself cruising on the Adirondack. For parking that day, we opted to pay $10 and park pretty close to where the festival was happening. So we turned left into this area between the Fire and Ice Bar and Grill and a strip mall with military and tattoo stores in it. After parking, we headed toward the festival. The scent of good German food filled the air, and the sound of good German music also filled the air. The festival that day started at noon and ended at 5 o'clock p.m., so people were arriving hungry for lunch. There were a good number of tents up that had crafts and homemade goods for sale. My daughter purchased some flavored honey sticks from one of the tents. There were carnival games and carnival rides for people of all ages. We didn't do any shopping at the Oktoberfest tents or play games. We mainly spent probably an hour or so listening to some good German polka music. This group was so good, I am pretty sure I smiled the entire time listening to them. I loved their costumes too. The ladies each had a floral wreath around their head. They were so pretty. The gentlemen's costumes were also outstanding. I got a kick out of the tuba player who reminded me of the cliffhanger guy from the game on The Price is Right. The main gentleman even sang some of the songs in German and then in English. It truly was entertaining. As I had never been to an Oktoberfest before this, I just found it all most fascinating. It was super neat to see some even dressed in traditional German attire. I really, really, really wanted to get lunch there and have a sausage and some sauerkraut, but not everyone in our group likes that type of cuisine. So I didn't get any this time, but the next time I go, I am totally going to chow down on some good German food and appreciate the sustenance of my ancestors. All in all, I hope to go back to Oktoberfest in Lake George and take some time to poke around the other tents. Once we got our fill of German music, we decided to head down to the lake itself. From Canada Street, there are multiple walkways that you can follow. However, be aware that these walkways are at a noticeable incline. I have been able to maneuver them just fine with an ankle that was broken back in 2012 and never regained full flexibility. But if you are not too keen on inclines, you can access the lake from Beach Road. Now Beach Road runs right in front of the pier for the Minnehaha Boat Tour. It is a fairly flat access point. Once you make it down to the lake, there is a nice smooth paved walkway that traverses a good portion of the lake in Lake George. The walkway we took was beside Shepherd Park and it took us directly out on a huge wooden pier overlooking the lake. The pier itself is an L shape, so in one direction you have views of several of the tour boats and their docks, and in the other direction, you can look across the lake as well as down the lake. We always enjoy taking some time just to stand at the railing, take in the fresh air, and let the lake and mountains refresh our spirits. And of course, we have to get our photo taken. With scenery like this, it is a must-do activity. We eventually made our way around the lake to check out tickets for a tour on the Minnehaha. 
Robert and I cruised on this boat last year. It was a super cool experience. There is a steam calliope on board that the captain actually plays at some point during the tour. It was very neat to listen to. However, we opted to cruise aboard the Adirondack this time. The Adirondack is owned and operated by Lake George Shoreline Cruises. We took a one hour tour for around $21 per person. The Adirondack can hold 400 passengers over her three decks, one of which is open air. However, this boat was nowhere near capacity. When we stopped to purchase tickets in advance, the young lady working the booth said to not worry about purchasing them now. She assured us it would not sell out. So we found us some lunch at Slice Pizzeria, then went back to the ticket booth with about five minutes to spare. And she was right, it was not sold out. We hopped on, found us some seats on the open air deck along the side of the boat initially, and set sail. One thing I noticed was that our chairs were in front of the bridal room. You can rent the boat for a wedding and the bride has her own suite in which to get ready along with the bridal party. This must be one of the loveliest venues for a wedding. Our tour was called the Historic Sightseeing Cruise. This is a narrated cruise, by the captain nonetheless, that takes you up close and personal with happenings from the French and Indian War, the Revolutionary War, as well as you get a glimpse of Millionaire's Row, plus more. If you are ever in Lake George, we highly recommend a tour on the Adirondack. We also decided to take a little time and visit one of my favorite shops, Molly Malone's Irish Shop. They offer a good variety of Irish merchandise. All of the products have been hand-picked and manufactured and imported directly from Ireland and Scotland to maintain authenticity. Let's take a look around so I can show you what they have. Before we headed to supper, my brother-in-law wanted to purchase some treats. There are a good number of candy stores around Lake George. We simply stopped at the first one we came to on Canada Street. 
which was called Sweet Tooth. You could smell the homemade fudge and popcorn as soon as you opened the door. It was heavenly. Robert and I didn't purchase anything, but if the smell is an indicator of taste, I'd say you couldn't go wrong purchasing homemade candy here. Supper that night was at one of our favorite restaurants, Friendly's. Is there a Friendly's near you? All of the ones around Rochester closed several years ago. We were so sad. The only two we know about in New York is this one here in Lake George and one in Liverpool right outside of Syracuse. Now I always get their honey barbecue chicken melt and fries. It is so good. But the main reason people enjoy Friendly's is their ice cream. So for dessert, I had a Nutty Buddy ice cream sundae and Robert had the Reese's peanut butter cup sundae. Y'all, please make friends with the nearest Friendly's near you. You will not regret it. The first day of our birthday getaway for Robert and his brother was a wunderbar success. That's supposed to be wonderful in German, but probably butchered it. Sorry if you're German and watching this. Now I have added to the description box below links to the Adirondack Boat Tour, Molly Malone's Irish Store, Sweet Tooth, and Friendly's if you want to check them out. In our next video, I'll take you to Six Flags the Great Escape Amusement Park. Pumpkins were gleaming and spooks were screaming. You won't want to miss it. And if you are a subscriber to our channel, I would like to take a moment and say thank you. It has meant so much to me every time I've seen someone new has subscribed to our channel. I hope that you have already found something helpful in the world of travel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.